Hey guys, Anthony here, Bibles and Barbells. Today's video is on the Snow Peak Giga Power stove. Um, a while back, I did a video showing you this Snow Peak uh, snow screen for the Giga Power stove that was given to me by Staten Island Prepper. Well, I went out over the holidays and I got some gift cards and I was able to use them on Amazon and I purchased me the Gigapower stove that goes with or utilizes the windscreen and this is the stove just arrived today from Amazon comes in a little palm sized case that stores the stove and we'll show you what that looks like later stored away you know really nice to put in your pack or to carry along without getting it damaged it's a good addition there. Just some specs on the stove. Uh, I'll show you right here, and these are right off the box. You know, your isobutane fuel, your burn time for different. Uh, we're going to boil two cups of water today with this stove. Its weight 3.75 ounces. Its heat output 10,000 BTUs. It's made of stainless steel, aluminum, and brass. And there's your dimensions. Four and an eighth by two and five eighths, and then of course your uh, case that comes with it. And there it is, 10,000 BTUs output, and it's got an automatic igniter on it. And so today, let's get it set up on our canister. Let's get the windscreen set up and get a boil test going. Be right back. Okay guys, we screwed the stove and threaded the stove onto the fuel canister, as you can see. And what I'm going to do, and always make sure this valve is shut off before you screw your stove on, so make sure that's off, so that way you don't have any gas leaking. Now we're going to install our windscreen and simply cut out, uh, there's a cutout for each of the metal or stainless steel uh, pot stands on the stove. Then there's a little notch in the windscreen that coincides with your ignition right here. Right here. So you'll just line that up. If you can see it. It clears the ignition. A little igniter there. And then you finish opening your pot stands all the way. So now your windscreen is nice and secure. What you want to do is, down below you have your igniter right here. You guys can see it. There's your ignition button right there. I'm simply going to rotate my dial here, or my, my turning knob, 360 degree turn and then you'll hear the gas start coming out and then I will light the stove and I'm gonna light it before I put the pot on it just so you can see how it lights and then we'll do it again when we boil our water here it goes and then of course you could adjust your setting And you can hear the stove is lit. To shut it off, just turn your gas valve down and it's off. Okay, I bought this stove for a reason. If you guys saw my wife's backpack video or go bag video that I did for her, I'll attach it to this video. She had one of these, or I included one of these folding stoves. It's basically a wood burning stove in her kit. That stove, this stove is getting replaced with the Gigapower. So she's going to have the, the Snow Peak Gigapower stove with the windscreen. And then this is her kit with the Pot Cozy, which contains an MSR pot. You guys have seen this pot. It's bomb proof. And so this is where her... Um, 
this is going to be an updated version of her cook set, having this pot. And of course, there's some items in this pot already that I keep in her go bag, but we're going to use this pot to boil the water in, um, and it'll sit just like this on the stove. Perfect fit. Okay, we have two cups of water measured in our bowl here. We'll pour it into our cooking pot. That aside, we'll bring our stove over, place our pot on the stove, and there you see, I'll give you a better shot and what it looks like. Um, pot that MSR pot fits perfectly on this stove. It'll make a great. It's going to make a great kit. Okay, we're going to light our stove and do a boil, boil test. The time right now is 2.13 p.m. And so let's light our stove. Okay. And we'll be back when that's boiling. Alright guys, we're back. It's 2.15 p.m. Notice we already got bubbles in the water. It's not at a rolling boil, but it's getting ready to boil right now. Now this is an excellent kit, guys, for your go bags. This is an excellent stove. I really like it. I'm, I'm glad that Staten Island Prepper sent me the windscreen and forced me to buy this stove. Uh, Snow Peak makes some really good quality equipment and this is going to be an excellent uh, addition to my wife's kit for her go bag. So right now she has two cups of water. She could make herself a lunch and then she has her pot cozy right here that I have videos on to put the pot in and whatever you're cooking can finish cooking right in the pot. So it's 216 and we have a rolling boil. Okay we'll let our stove set cool down. We'll take the we'll thread it de-thread it off the fuel canister. We'll fold it back up and put it in its holding box here that it comes with and we will put it back and we'll add it to my wife's go bag. Alright guys our stove is cooled down so now we'll remove the windscreen it's 
kind of play with it a little bit and it'll come right off. Our windscreen is off. Our legs will fold just opposite here, opposite here. Make sure our gas is off. Take the thread, do it, detach it from our fuel canister. Put that aside, cap it off. Your ignition you want just like that so you could fold it up. And there's your stove folded together. Again, guys, super light, not the lightest, but very light. Now you have your storage container. So line it up inside our storage container. And there it is. Stove is protected. And then that'll go, for my wife's kit, the stove's going to go right inside the pot, along with the condiment kit that she has with coffees, teas, sugars, uh, bullion packets, you know, her little cook kit right here. The lid will go on your pot. And again, guys, this MSR pot is basically bomb-proof. Your handle, even when the pot is boiling, does not get hot, so you don't need to, you won't burn yourself. Uh, it's a great self-contained kit to have. It locks down into place. It's small and compact. It's great for one person. Just a great bomb-proof backpacking kit here. And now with the Gigapower stove, uh, I've got the windscreen. I, I could put the windscreen in there as well. And then... What I do with this kit is I store it in the I store this kit in the little pot cozy that I made. You guys can see here. And it goes right back into her pack. And there you have a complete cook kit. The only thing you'd have to bring with you or add to it, I'd probably add a smaller fuel canister than this one in her bag. Uh, I'll put one of the the smaller ones in, but again, and actually a smaller one may even fit inside this pot as well. But there you have it, guys, the Snow Peak Gigapower Isobutane Stove. Let me know what you think. Send me your questions and comments. Thanks you for joining me, and as always, take care. Anthony signing off.